This one will probably... Uh, I can't wait to see the comments on this one. I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you to think differently than me. Um, I think everybody's kind of entitled to enjoy wrestling however they want. But uh, there's something there's something wrong with AEW. And there's a disconnect between me and AEW. And it's weird because 2019, 2020, 2021 going to those pay-per-views, spending my hard-earned money to go to those pay-per-views, those experiences, like, hands down, some of the best wrestling shows I've ever been to. And I've gone to WrestleManias. I've gone to WWE events. I've gone to all these other companies. But uh, I can confidently say since 2021, AEW's pay-per-views just haven't delivered in a big way. Now, of course, everybody's going to have their own vision of what they want from wrestling. Anybody who follows me knows I care about characters and storytelling. And uh, just being a good wrestler in the ring isn't my cup of tea all the time. That doesn't mean I don't like watching a good wrestling match, because I do. I do. But for me to be hooked in, man, I just really like good stories. That, that same feeling of Hangman Page and the Elite and Kenny Omega in the early years of AEW. Man, that was special. And because of that, we all know that Tony Khan can absolutely tell great stories. Now, 2022 was a really weird year for AEW because obviously they were plagued by injuries, but I could confidently say going into Forbidden Door, it was very evident that Tony Khan was trying to satisfy that very, very, very hardcore audience by just giving people straight up big matchups instead of telling those great stories that he was telling in 2021. And then obviously by the time All Out 2022 came, he was plagued, the company was plagued by injuries. Big names were obviously missing from the event. It sucks, but you can't really blame the guy. So I thought for sure going into 2023, I was super excited for Revolution. I thought that right there was like the, man, this is like the comeback story for AEW. But uh, no, it's not. And it's, it's a strange situation for me personally because I, I enjoy AEW. I don't belong with any sort of tribalism. I don't have any of those tendencies. I, my life is not impacted whatsoever by WWE or AEW being better or greater than the other. In fact, um, when all wrestling companies are good, my life is actually better because I talk about pro wrestling. So obviously, the more people like wrestling, the more that helps me out. Um, but it's, it's super strange going into a pay-per-view yet again for AEW and just kind of coming to the realization that this company is not telling the same, they're, they're not, they're not sticking to the same fundamentals that they had two years ago when they were telling great stories. Now I've always said this about AEW, um, since the very beginning, whether AEW tells good stories that interest me, whether they do that or not. I enjoy watching AEW for the simple fact that they always have a really great rowdy crowd, great wrestling matches, whatever. But like what really hooks me in is their ability to tell stories like John Moxley and hangman. I thought has been a great story. Um, I know that IWC doesn't really care for the guns and the acclaimed, but I've actually been really happy with that. Um, I think the women's match has also been the, the, the building there has been pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, there's certain things I like and there's certain things I dislike, but there's just this weird negative energy towards AEW revolution. And it just doesn't feel like AEW has that same spark that it once had. Um, but the thing is AEW, even when that's the case, they still put on good shows because the crowd is into it. The wrestling is fantastic. Um, but if you're asking me to spend money on a pay-per-view just to watch good wrestling matches, I mean, guys, there's indie wrestling there's Impact, there's MLW, there's GCW, there's WWE. And all those seem to be cheaper than an AEW pay-per-view. So my point that I'm trying to make is the significance behind AEW's pay-per-view, like, and I've said this before, you'll never be in a situation where you spend your money on an AEW pay-per-view 
and be disappointed that you spent your money on the pay-per-view because at the very minimum, at least you're going to get great matches. But sometimes booking decisions could be highly questionable. Sometimes the storylines aren't that great. Sometimes they're amazing too, but you always know that you're going to get some pretty sick matches. But for some reason this year, 2023, and it's March, so to give you an idea, we're three months in. It's the first pay-per-view of the year. The build is very, very lackluster. On the bright side, there's not 15 matches, which means the pay-per-view will probably not be five hours long. We'll see what they announce if, in terms of the, the zero-hour uh, pre-show, but... My point that I'm making is that AEW has an issue with building pay-per-views. And you might disagree, you might agree. Again, I'm not here to convince you to feel otherwise. Uh, it's just strange. I guess my point to this is like, I just want to see something different with AEW. There, there's no way that you have some of the greatest entertainers in your company and you're just, there's a disconnect. And I've thought about, I've had people talk to me about like, oh man, like you should like do an hour long podcast, two hour long podcast and just share your thoughts openly, you know, instead of talking about news and rumors and opinions on the news and rumors, just talk about what you like, what you dislike but it's like, I don't know if I could really do that with, with AEW. I don't know. There's not a lot of things that interest me in the company, despite the fact that they have such a badass roster. I guess, um, and we'll, we'll see what AEW does after this, but... I'm super excited about Ring of Honor. And um, Ring of Honor is going to have a pay-per-view in a few weeks, and they're going to also have the same issue as AEW. Very, very light build to the pay-per-view. Part of me is just hoping that maybe Tony Khan can like bring people to help him write the shows, plan the shows. It seems like Triple H and WWE has like a long-term vision for everybody. And it used to feel that way with Tony Khan. And to a certain extent, to his credit, I feel like he still has a certain plan for certain people. But it just does feel like there's something that's not... There's something that's not there. The good thing is Tony Khan has money. AEW has money. Um... The Khan family is very successful outside of wrestling. I'm not in any means like concerned with AEW dying, but um, just in terms of personal interest, I feel that way. And maybe you guys feel the same. Maybe you don't. I'm, I'm curious to see how you guys genuinely feel about it. So let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.